happens really often when you're working on these projects is someone brings uh, a story to you, something like a deity, and they tell you, oh, this story is about this thing that happened to me, and I'm like, and they tell the story to you, and then you're like, that's not what that's about. There's more going on there. Um, this happens all the time. Um, our next performer has one such story, I think, anyway. Uh, this is Lauren Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Driving down Highway 92 in Woodstock, Georgia. I got a sandwich riding shotgun. My name's Lauren. I deliver sandwiches. As I'm driving up the road, I notice a starship novelty in tobacco. I wonder to myself, what do they mean by novelty? <laughs> Are they talking about designer fashion items or fancy ice pops? <laughs> or, do they, or do they just mean sex toys? <laughs> just then, a silver Nissan 350Z swerves in front of me. I slam to the right to avoid him when pop! I've got a flat tire. At this point, I should probably introduce you to my girlfriend, who is here, so just stand up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, it's my story, it's my story. <laughs> my girlfriend and I are a very typical American couple. <laughs> And when I cut myself on a saw blade, she cleans it, kisses it, and band-aids it with a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles band-aid. Because <laughs> those are my favorite. <laughs> and when we have a 4th of July party at our house, my girlfriend is the hostess that does the mostess. <laughs> Patriotic decorations everywhere. Red, white, and blue jello shots. American flag made out of 100 cupcakes. <laughs> Everything's perfect. And so when I called that day to tell her I have a flat tire at one o'clock, she was, well, what the hell, Lauren? <laughs> Changing my tire took three solid efforts. At first, I've got this. I've changed a tire at least, like, once-ish. <laughs> it's gonna be great. So I jack up my car and I push on the tire iron. And I push on the tire iron. And I put all of my weight on the tire iron. And then I jump on the tire iron. And after about 10 minutes, I just conclude that I cannot loosen these nuts. Why don't I try as she hands me her purse. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess you could try. <laughs> it is rumored that when women are under extreme pressure and stress, their mother-like feminine instincts kick in and give them an adrenaline rush and strength comparable to the Hulk. <laughs> that is my justification for why Abby was able to remove four of the five <laughs> trying to get the fifth nut loose, but there was absolutely nothing we could do. So Abby decided it was time to employ a different tactic. Why don't we go in that guitar store and ask if a big, strong man can come help us loosen this tire? <laughs> Short and stout 
and his legs are twice the size of his upper body. <laughs> and when they get over to me, he puts his arm around Abby and says, don't worry, I've changed plenty of tires in my time. As if I was not standing right there. <laughs> Muff Boy tries to change the tire for about 30 minutes, at the end of which he decides, you know, I don't think it's gonna come off. I gotta go back to work. Good luck. On one hand, I was feeling slightly relieved because it wasn't just me who couldn't get the tire off. On the other hand, I could see the frustration and the pressure and the tension growing on Abby's face. Now there is a point in every college student's life where they are so miserable and confused and scared that there is only one thing left to do. First of all, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, 
You uh, got a spare in your trunk, a full-size spare? <laughs> you just gotta lift up the eight inch trunk. You have to make some help right underneath you there. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Second of all, uh, the issue with your car was you got something called a lock nut on your tire, and that's a nut that's smaller than the rest that could be a sealer tire. We got it off, no problem. It wasn't a big deal. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, your total's gonna be about $120. And at that moment, Abby yanks the phone out of my hand and puts it in her purse. She looks at me, and as I look back at her, she only says to me, don't worry about it. We'll just put it on my credit card and we'll figure it out together later. And it was looking at that beautiful face and that reassuring smile that I recognize, I don't have to be the big strong man everyone wants me to be. It's okay to be the little girl who can't change a tire sometimes. Aww.